Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a journey back in time, to an era when Paris was on the brink of hosting the World's Fair, a celebration of progress and ingenuity that would forever alter its skyline. The Exposition Universelle of 1889. Our story today is none other than the breathtaking tale of the Eiffel Tower's creation, a construction so audacious, it's impossible not to marvel at its details. And if you find yourself intrigued by these stories of human achievement, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tales of wonder. In the late 19th century, Paris sought to demonstrate its technical prowess and stand at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution. Enter Gustave Eiffel, an engineer whose previous works included metal frameworks like that of the Statue of Liberty, yet whose ambitions soared even higher. Eiffel envisioned a tower that would dominate Paris's horizon, a structure made entirely of iron that would tower above the cityscape as a testament to modern engineering. The challenge was set forth by the exposition's organizers to erect a monument on the Champ de Mars that would serve as the entrance arch to the fair and a celebration of the centennial of the French Revolution. Over 100 designs were submitted, but it was Eiffel's bold concept, designed with Maurice Cuchelain and Emile Nouguier, that took the prize. A design so radical Many scoffed at its possibility, dismissing it outright as a monstrous Asor that would blemish the artistic beauty of Paris. The Eiffel Tower, or La Tour Eiffel, as the French would call it, was to stand 300 meters tall, a height unrivaled by any structure at the time. To achieve this, Eiffel and his team would need to address numerous engineering hurdles, like wind resistance, the weight of the iron, and most critically, how to actually assemble the tower piece by piece. Eiffel met these challenges head on, proposing a design relying on over 18,000 individual Rautiron pieces, held together by a staggering 2.5 million rivets. Now imagine Paris in the late 1880s, a bustling cityscape of cobblestone streets and horse-drawn carriages with the mighty Seine River winding through the heart of the city. It was against this backdrop that construction began in January 1887, a spectacle of both wonder and skepticism. Picture the immense metal pieces, each carefully wrought, transported to the site, where they would slowly form the legs of this giant steel behemoth. But the construction of the Eiffel Tower was not just a display of architectural might. It was an orchestration of precision. Each metal part was prefabricated in Eiffel's factory on the outskirts of Paris, crafted to such exacting accuracy that the components fit together perfectly on site, needing the smallest adjustments. One doesn't simply build a tower as titanic as the Eiffel without concerning themselves with the moving parts, the elevators. The tower's plan called for lifts that could transport guests hundreds of meters into the air, a feat unprecedented at the time. The challenge was immense. Conventional lifts were ill-suited for the tower's sloping curves. I fell, understanding the need for expertise, solicited the help of American elevator company Otis, who engineered a bespoke hydraulic lift system. These would eventually become one of the tower's many highlights, an attraction in themselves. And as if the engineering challenges weren't daunting enough, the Eiffel Tower was never meant to be a permanent fixture. Intended only to stand for 20 years, it faced demolition and was saved only by its utility as a giant radio antenna reflecting the practicality and adaptability of engineering masterpieces. Before we ascend this Iron Lady further, a quick reminder, if you're captivated by this architectural legacy, why not share your thoughts in the comments? We'd love to hear which feat of engineering you find most impressive as we continue the ascent of our tale. 
let us scale the heights and unveil the wonders of the Eiffel Tower, a beacon of human achievement and a symbol of French pride. But what went on behind the scenes and above the clouds? Nestled high above the city, a little known fact is that the Eiffel Tower once harbored a secret. Gustave Eiffel, the mastermind behind the Iron Marvel, had installed a private apartment for himself right at the top of the tower. Furnished with the essence of comfort and scientific wonder, it played host to the era's most esteemed intellectuals, including Thomas Edison. Imagine the silhouette of Paris sprawling beneath as thoughts of progress and the future were exchanged within the hidden chambers of this urban castle. But beyond the confines of this secluded dwelling, the Eiffel Tower would soon play a pivotal role on the global stage during World War I. The Iron Lady, with her unmatched height, became a critical part of military communication, housing a radio antenna that intercepted enemy messages from afar. This not only saved it from demolition, but spurred its transformation into an unexpected icon of national security. Transitioning to peace, the Eiffel Tower illuminated the night sky, challenging the stars with its glittering display of lights. Since the 20th century, this nightly spectacle has enchanted countless imaginations, injecting magic into the Parisian nocturne and capturing the hearts of romantics worldwide. The tower's lighting design has evolved from glowing gas lamps to 20,000 sparkling LED bulbs which twinkle every hour, marrying technology and beauty. Today, the Eiffel Tower stands not just as a triumph of the past, but a thriving participant in modern culture. Drawing millions of visitors yearly, it thrives at the heart of Parisian tourism an industry bolstering the city's economy. However, amidst the romanticism and celebrations, one question looms as intangibly as the structure itself. How long will the Eiffel Tower last? Amid concerns over corrosion and the inevitable toll of time, conservationists and engineers, renovations continuously ensure its endurance, while debates rage about its future responsibilities and potentials. If this journey through the history of the Eiffel Tower has captured your imagination, we'd be grateful if you'd leave a like, subscribe for more historical explorations, and join us in the comments to discuss the everlasting impact of the Iron Lady of Paris. Together, let's keep delving into the past to uncover the legacies that shape our world.